Hello everybody, this is Di Anti Nailist, and today I'm going to talk about something. Um, I'm just gonna flow through the store here. It's raining outside, it's very humid also. Um, I've, you know, from time to time I've seen memes on uh, Facebook and, and you know, Instagram about first world problems. Um, let me let me give an example of a first world problem. Okay, like it rained really hard and it rained on your Amazon package that was delivered to your door or your um, um, $400 bottle of Merlot um, spilled on your, your white carpets or um, your nanny or your housekeeper went back to their country and you were stuck um, sweeping your floors and cleaning your toilets. And those are luxury, you know, those are luxury things. And um, people like to make fun of those with affluence and all first world countries have abundance. Look at this store, it is just full of stuff. Full, full, full. And everybody in here, <laughs> look at you, baby. Look at you. Paisa. Paisa. What? What? Everybody in here is shopping um, for things that they don't need. And uh, Halloween's coming up. And look at all the coal. Look at this coal. Wow. It's got like, um, it's got the Zodiacs. Oh, that's really cool. It's only $12. Very, very cool. So we got um, the skeletons, the pumpkins, uh, just, you know, everything. Halloween, the candy corn. And uh, so people like to uh, mock people who have affluence. And um, it's just, it's just another form of insensitivity um, and um, uh, dismissiveness. Now, let's say you did have a nanny or housekeeper. Let's say you really bonded with her and you've had her for three years and, you know, she did a great job. It's very, very hard to replace this, somebody like that. Um, so, um, it, you know, it's a big loss for the person who, um, uh, you know, had the, lost the nanny. And um, somebody who drops the wine all over their white carpet. Oh, what a mess. And, you know, that's... Um, monetary loss nobody likes to lose money and um nobody can really afford to lose money because money does not grow on trees and um oh this sounds good salted pumpkin my goodness <laughs> and so anyway so um when somebody is dismissive with with your situation you can be likewise insensitive to their situation and um you know let's just give a scenario here what if a person from a first world um you know knew that uh, children or teens in, in a country far away didn't have shoes and you know somebody could be dismissive and say well they're used to not wearing shoes their feet are toughened you know they um they're happy with no shoes and um, I mean getting an Amazon package you know wet it could actually ruin something that you know um, you ordered and you can't replace and it could be it, you know it could be like a huge loss for the person and um, so my point in this video is to say that um, uh, t to be respectful of all classes of people and all, um, uh, you know, everybody who, um, you know, has, has lost something and, um, using the, f the term first world problems, uh, first worlds are full of problems. I mean, I, I mean, <laughs> like I'm going to have to go out into the rain with all these bags and my dog to get into my car. So that's a first world problem, right? 
it is a problem. <laughs> I don't want to slip and fall in the rain. Um, I don't want to, you know, get my my henna tattoo wet here. So just because somebody has more abundance is no excuse to be dismissive of their losses and their problems. And I, I get it, you know, the, the memes are kind of silly, like, you know, like, uh, you know, um, you know, maybe, maybe your grocery store was, you know, out of your, uh, your favorite, you know, boxed item, your favorite candy or whatever. And, you know, some people like in other countries are just starving to death and, you know, you're picky over your, but, but, but you know what, um, you have a right to be picky. You have a right to be choosy and you have a right to feel that loss over that item. And, um, you were not in some country where they don't have shoes or to where you can help those people. So, um, it's a big distance from your uh, capacity to help somebody. Um, so, you know, I just want, uh, the, the classism, the, um, the, the, the hate with classism to like disappear because everybody needs to feel support and to be validated. And, um, you know, just like some people could lose a parent and it could be the most devastating thing in the world. And some people would not shed a tear. Yeah. Like me, <laughs> uh, wouldn't bother me one bit. Um, but typically when people lose something and they talk about those losses, they are affected. So, um, um, you know, just be aware in your, in your discussions and when somebody is hurt by something or when somebody has lost something, um, show empathy and, you know, put yourself in their shoes. Like, you know, you could have lost something that you can't replace and, you know, you're, you're going to be sad for days or weeks or, you know, you're going to have bad memories or, um, you know, like I know a lot of stuff closed down it during COVID and you lose your part of your history. Um, you, know, you lose what made you who you were. And, uh, so anyway, whether it's first world problems, third world problems, um, everybody's problems should be validated and sh they should be respected for their loss. Thanks for watching.